Welcome to Daily Armor. Today we're going to be in the book of Proverbs. I'm looking at chapter number 2 and verse number 10. Chapter number 2 and verse number 10 and verse number 11. I'm going to kind of start actually backwards. So I'm going to read verse 10 and 11 and then we're going to start over at verse 1 and end back again at verse number 10 and 11. But for the sake of reading, look at verse number 10. It says, When wisdom entereth into thine heart and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion will preserve thee understanding shall keep thee now i know that some of you are like myself and sometimes you have something that that crosses your mind that that the lord may want you to do something that is outside of your comfort zone outside of what you know how to do um, but you just have a feeling that you need to consider it um, that you're not sure, I'm not sure, like there's something that, um, that kind of took place this afternoon and it just made me question, Lord, is this something you want me to do or is this something that is just, you know, just a thought that runs through my mind and it, and it's, you know, not anything that he's interested in me doing. Um, but it, it's kind of bothered me, um, enough to where I wanted to consider it. Um, so what I did is I, when the thought crossed my mind and I couldn't really just, dis I couldn't dismiss it. Um, I wanted to, uh, cause it was something that I'm not really interested in doing. And, and for purely the fact that I just don't know how, um, but as the, my past experience, the Lord has actually had me do so many things that I have no idea how to do them. Um, but he's led me to do them and, and train me and, and had people along the way to help me. Um, in my training. So I can't just say, well, Lord, I don't know how to do this, so you must not want me to do it. Um, but it made me second guess and wonder if this was something that he wants me to do. Um, so the first thing that I did, I was so excited to get to church and I was just wanted to get to the altar. And I just, I just very calmly um, just asking the Lord, Lord, is this thought that ran through my mind, is this from you or was this just a thought that ran through my mind? And almost like I was hoping he was just going to say, you know, hoping I was hoping I was going to get a quick answer and be able to dismiss it and go on about my day. Um, but that's not what's happened so far. So, um, and it may happen. He may not, you know, it may, I may find out that it wasn't something that he is leading me to do. Uh, but he did lead me to look at Proverbs chapter 2, verse number 10. And it was a verse that I had just recently saw today um, and that um, I, I was intrigued to investigate it. And so when I was praying at the altar, this verse came to mind. And so I come into uh, at my desk and I, I found it in the scripture and I'm reading it. And then I go back to the beginning of the chapter and, and we find here the formula is kind of like a little formula that the Lord's got laid out for us on how to figure out what's what his wisdom is, what how to make wise choices, how to make choices that God wants us to make. And sometimes we don't know if, if this is a good decision or if that's a good decision. We just sometimes we just absolutely don't know. And I really have no idea, um, but I'm willing to find out. Um, I'm not willing to dismiss it and just forget about it, but I am willing to find out. So oh, how I'm doing that is looking at kind of, um, it kind of like, I noticed how there was a kind of a pattern in the, in the scripture. Going back to verse number one, the Lord is telling us some things that we need to do on our part. When we are questioning, when we have a decision to make, when we don't really know which way to go, when we don't know which which part of it is he leading in, you know, and, and which ideas do we have that are just, you know, just ideas that we have, um, but it's not something that he's leading in. I want to do those things that he's leading in. Why? We'll be talking about that in verses six through eight of the why. So, um, but let's start out with what can we do on our part to figure out if this idea or if this thought, or if this is really something that God wants us to do, if it is from the Lord. And verse number one is a good place to begin on chapter number two of Proverbs. This is my son here. It's going to be to us daughters. Um, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee. So the Lord is saying, 
if you're going to take hold of, if, if you'll take hold of my words, if these words are from him, I want to take hold of them. Um, if I'm hiding um, his commandments, that means I am treasuring them. If you're hiding something, I have a drawer that I've got some valuables in. It's a little secret drawer, and I'm not going to say where, but it's, it's a little hidden treasure that I have. And so I've got them hid, and the Lord is saying, hide my commandments. Hide them within you. So we we need to we need to know what God's word says because if if you ever get a thought, if you ever get something that kind of stands out to you, you're like, oh Lord, I, I you might want me to do that. It's never going to go against His commandments. He's never going to tell you to do something that is that is illegal to Him. It's, it's never going to tell you to sin. He's always going to be and and when you hide when you treasure. When you find that his commandments are a treasure and you're hiding them like and treasuring them, then you're no, you're going to, you're going to discern all well, that's, that's definitely not going to be of the Lord. You're going to know, um, at least between that, that part. And so then the next thing he's saying in verse number two, it says, so thou, so, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding. So what else do we need to do? We need to be listening. For him to speak to us, waiting to hear. So now my 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 thoughts are pricked. I'm 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 listening. I'm expecting through reading or the preaching or however the Lord wants to chooses to really speak to me. I'm listening for him to let me know yes or no, maybe now later. I'm I'm listening, um, and then I'm going to apply that. Um, apply that to my that in my heart to the understanding. So now I'm 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 offering, I'm willing to be made willing. I am willing to pursue this. I'm willing to listen for His voice. It's pricked my heart enough to where I'm. I want to know. Um, I want to know. I want to be. Um, I want to do what He wants me to do. I don't want to dismiss if it if it's uh, if it's truly truly something the Lord wants me to do. And I'm sure you're the same way. Now, what else do we need to do? Verse number three tells us to yea, if thou Christ after knowledge and liftest up thy voice for understanding, He wants us to cry out to Him. He wants us to ask Him, talk to Him about it. Because if we're avoiding it, we're saying we don't want to know because we're afraid the answer is going to be yes that this is what you want me to do and I don't know how to do it and this is making me nervous and this is something I've never done before and it's just outside of my comfort zone and Lord I, I don't want to talk to you about it because I don't I'm worried of what the answer is going to be that's not what he says he says cry after knowledge just find out be willing to find out what he wants verse number four seek us seek us her as silver um, seeketh her as silver. Look at verse number four. If thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. So if we are, if we are um, crying out to the Lord, if we are lifting up our voice to him, if we're talking to him about it, and we're seeking an answer, no matter if it's yes or no, whatever the answer, we're, if we're seeking after the answer as if it was treasure that had value because it is he, whatever he says it's a treasure that that money can't even buy um, and if we're searching for it as if it was a hid treasure as we're trying to dig it out you know we're we're willing to put some work into it this is not going to be something that probably the lord's going to let me know today i'm going to be sir i'm going to be digging at it i'm going to be asking i'm going to be you know talking to him about it and asking if lord if, if this this is kind of something I, I don't even know why that it you know that I saw what I saw and 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 I don't even know why but Lord I'm willing to ask you about it and I'm willing to search for an answer and to seek after an answer and it says then so see this is when when we do our part then he's going to give us some some things on on his part then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God for the Lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding he layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous he is a buckler to them that walk uprightly he keepeth the path of judgment and preserveth the way of his saints then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity yea every good path then 
he's going to do his part. Then he's going to let us in on some things. Then whatever the answer is, yes, no, whatever the answer is, he's going to let us in on some things. And then if the answer is yes, he wants to do some things, he's saying, I'm going to, I'm going to lay up some things for you. I'm going to set up some things for you. I'm going to be a buckler. Verse number seven says he is a buckler to them. So if he's told you he wants you to do some things, that buckler is that talking about that defense shield. He is our protector. And verse number eight says that he keepeth the paths of judgment and preserveth the way of his saints. He's saying, I'm going to be responsible for you. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to provide for you. I'm going to preserve you. I'm going to put a hedge about you. That's what that preserving means. I'm going to put a hedge of protection around you. I'm going to help you. I'm going to be right there with you. Um, and then verse number nine says, then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity, yea, every good path. Then we're going to know what we're supposed to do or not supposed to do. It's just important to know what we're not supposed to do. That was something through the, um, through the revival that the Lord laid on my heart. Some, there was something particular that he was like, I don't want you to do that anymore. I don't want you to, to solve your problems in that way any longer. Um, and he, I know that he was speaking to me that night and that was something he wanted me not to do. But right now I'm asking him, Lord, if this is something you want me to do, I just, I want to know. And so I'm going to, I'm going to cry out for knowledge. I'm going to lift up my voice to, to, for understanding. And I'm going to ask him, what do you want me to do? Thank you for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.